When editing a character in BuildBox, you will find many features in the options bar, like the collision shape, the animations, sounds, gameplay effects, game over effects, and so on. These sections are your core components. They're an important part of your character that is needed for almost all gameplay types. If you decide to create a more specific type of character, for example, a character that jumps in a platformer gameplay type, or a character that flies in a helicopter style game, then you'll want to add a new custom component. Doing this is easy, and there are many options to choose from. At the very bottom of the character options bar, you'll see a button called add component. By clicking this button, you'll have many options for new components you can add to your character. Let's review them all quickly. Advanced move allows you to create advanced movements and animations that can be activated when the character collides with an object, immediately when the character starts, or when a button is pressed. For example, if we select this, and you want your character to automatically run forward, you would add this component and set the linear x velocity to 25. Now the character will always move at a speed of 25. We could create new animations for this, or simply leave it blank to use our default animation. Also, we could make the character only move when a certain event happens. For instance, by choosing Collision from the Event dropdown, the character would only move when colliding with a specific object of your choice, like a wall or trampoline in your game. You can also combine multiple advanced moves. For example, we could also create a slide function that makes the character slide when a button is pressed. First, we would need to add another advanced move component and then make the X linear velocity 30. This way the character moves slightly faster when sliding. We could create a new sliding image animation if we wanted, and also edit the collision shape so the character can slide under obstacles it would normally run into. Finally, we could head over to the menu editor and create a new character button. So we could just grab a button here and then add the character button to our gameplay UI. We would just need to position and edit the button as desired and set up the function to perform a component action. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.